Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, let's just say I wasn't expecting that. Arthur got kidnapped, tortured, basically, had to cauterize a wound. We then did something else, which I actually can't remember. We killed a cougar, collected the dead for Strauss, and then Sean got shot. <laughs> So we're back at camp now. We told Bill to go and bury Sean's body somewhere. And I remember Dutch or people were asking Dutch, oh, where's the boy, where's the boy? And I'm assuming they're meaning Sean. I'm not sure though, but we are back at camp. Amen. And I'm scared for what's about to happen. But let's just play. Okay. Is there some way I can fix it from doing that? Oh, I'll have to move. I'll have to move? What are you doing? Arthur, have you seen the boy? Jack, no. Oh, Jack's Where's missing. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think... The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so What's help me John got to right say about now. this? Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill them. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, I'm terrified, but I feel so cool right okay. now. Look at us, let's look at the game. Boy back. Oh my god. They must have figured out what we were up to, Dutch. Wait, so yeah, do they know about Sean? We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to That's even my question. about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Uh, no, I said I swear people should be keeping there. Easy, John. Try to stay a better down. eye on Jack. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. Exactly. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Okay, but I said from the beginning, like, I didn't trust them. I figured that they knew what okay, we were doing. Get your heads right. I no swear to God, I mentioned that. Until I say so. I swear I mentioned that. I swear. And if I didn't, then I thought it. But I definitely have been saying something's going up. Going wrong. Going. They knew what we were doing, basically. <laughs> Alright, everyone, dismount and come to me. Sorry. We'll go in on foot from here. There was no way that we'd just be made like the sheriff that easily. Now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to Oh my god, no, I swear to god, if anyone dies here. Come on, let's I'm get this done. Game. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. 
This looks so cool. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Ho ho ho. Is, do they really think we're just gonna leave without him? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Oh hell yeah! This is for getting Sean killed. This is for you know stealing Jake. Oh god, yeah, I should get behind cover. Ah. Uh. Second. Find that Braceway woman. Jack, you in here? Jack, can you hear me? Jack. Jack. Oh shit. Wait. Should I have done that? I don't know whether or not I should have done that. Oh, sorry, babes. Sorry, I did not really understand what was going on there. Oh, where? Oh, wait, I think he means a here. Eat, 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 eat. 
Okay, one second. I just want to see the difference in damage. If I clean this... Sorry, I know right now is probably not the best time, but that is like three. Oh yeah, the other one's way better. No other babes. Okay. Kind of went with my monitor. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize it could go down this way. Break. One, two, three. Is Jack not in here? No! 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 Uh, uh, you want me to kill uh, you two old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out uh, of here. Uh, what about them? <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Where's Jack? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for her, but like she's also not telling us where Jack is, so. You are sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Oh, they're burning the house. Oh my giggly gosh. <laughs> Sorry. It's not funny, I know. Very sad, very sad. Anyway. Uh where's Jack? She just left her left her in there. I never liked you. Okay. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. So what happened to Penelope Braithwaite and Bo Gray? It's gonna work out, John. The battle of Shady Grove. It's gonna work out. Girl. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but <laughs> looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Yeah, I don't Nobody think they Nobody takes a boy him. to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, 
Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you <gasps> to act like human dignity. And basic decency was Kevin, outmoded or not honey, yet invented. Have you? This thing, no. <laughs> it's done. This place ain't no such thing. Exactly. It's, it's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? <laughs> I'm plotted. This life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. Yeah. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. I think we should get Jack first. <laughs> I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This hey. is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off. Yeah. Follow me. I know the way. I've really grown to love every single like character at this camp. It's gonna be all right, and just John. seeing them all together. Going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an armor. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? <laughs> We made too much noise once again. We drove right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. 
Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He did. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Anyway, you were saying? I actually I really you, love Joe. Don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to Sand and Nate. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. I I really do love John. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. I hope we get to do some more missions with him in the future. Oh shit! It's them again, boys! I don't know if I'm meant to kill Still them. Some here. I can see that. I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Why do I have to check the house? Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who's going to up to this. You Hi. should have left when you had the chance. You, you. Tough guy, eh? Wait, is that downstairs? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shut you up. Ugh, tears, disgusting. Hate. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the cowards. Like you. Was I meant to come in here first? Oh, hunters. Ah. You don't care that I just killed one of your guys? How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last Oh, I think he commits suicide. He shot Come himself. Help me with this, will you? Yeah, give me a second. I'm just gonna wait. John, yes, my love. I'm busy looting. Well, I was. Can I really be asked? Not really. Where's this body? Oh, I think it's the one upstairs. Okay. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Can I at least I loot them? The others walking into this. Mm, sure. Pick up. You grab that one there. Follow me. Where are we putting them? All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Oh, maybe, maybe John got the other one. Okay. Uh, would they? Are they not gonna like just wash up? Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. Oh. OK. 
Okay, so I think those are the ones upstairs. I really, really do love John though. I think he's definitely grown on me as a character. I didn't, um, I don't know. I think in the beginning of it, I guess I kind of saw him as like this low life dad who didn't want to be in his son's life, yada, yada, yada. But like as the chapters have gone on and we've done like small missions with him, I, you can tell that he, I guess he wants to try. I don't know. The part of me that wants to see the good in him wants to be like, oh, like, he doesn't want to be a failure. He doesn't want to, you know, not bring, uh, what's his name? Jack up in a bad way. I'm not sure as to what happened with John's parents. Oh, I'm not done yet. I had two more. Fine. Welcome home, all you to uh, my humble abode. <laughs> we got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work Oh my god, magic? Karen helping Molly out of the car. Right. Take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. I want to know what's going on between them. Dutch, spill. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloon. What was that? Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. I don't think so, but a part of me for some reason thought that Sean and Molly were siblings. Okay, there she Maybe is. Maybe it's because they're both Irish. At least I think I can't remember. The future. Factories. Pollution. Always repellent. Okay. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Shady Bell. Did um did Black Bell did Black Bell have anything to do with Shady Bell? That's what I'm curious about. Oh my god, Galagas. 
Oh, so like we're unlocking more than that. That's really cool. Oh my god, please say there's a- <gasps> There's a barber here. There is a barber here. I don't have to go all the way back over to Valentine now. I can just go over here. Oh my god, gosh. Like, oh, Wait, where is- where is like how like Homestead, whatever you call it. Taylor. Photo studio? Ooh. What's this? What's it? A still holder in the St. Dennis Market. It's not- have they pronounce it? Okay, then create a uh, bring you in. Ew, no, anyway, never mind. General store, there's a butcher. There's another show, newspaper seller. Oh, there are two shows. The gunsmith doctor. Oh, okay. This is so cool. I kind of want to just go and look around, to be honest. Okay, so... I do kind of just want to go and have a look around the place, you know, look get myself me. familiar. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be honest though. Hello there. Welcome to Joseph Bonds. Earl I'm not a huge fan of the scenery. But I take it myself sometimes. Right then, let's see. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's it for now. Chiedo scusa. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to think of stuff because I'm confused. Try that place first. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this is more like What's wrong with you? Nothing. Industrial. And I'm not a huge fan of that. It's still very pretty. Somebody help me. This is unacceptable. That just made my own decrease. Stop it, Arthur. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. What's happening? Why is it- why does it keep doing that? I'm gonna try this place first. Why does it keep doing that though? Am I doing something wrong? Like... What's going on? Why is it doing that? It's very boring. <laughs> I'm sure you're fine. Looks like the law finally caught up with you. I didn't take Is this where I need to go? I thought the other place was Stick 'em up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. Are you we know, not mate? worrying about Jack? I'll meet you back here or not. I get that, like, we've kind of... Well, hello there. Oh my god, look at look at her! Do you see her? She her eyes are all over me. She wants to leave her man. I don't blame her. Look at me. That's the state of Lamorne for you. 
America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> That's why we love Hello? it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> She's tired of her husband. She's looking at me, not even her husband. Look at that. Look at her. Look, she's trying to show off. How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Okay. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. If he said from Ireland, I would have cried. Well, thank you. Oh, I didn't agree to that. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. Hey, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. I don't think you can understand. I can't just Bronte? leave it. Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian spaghetti eating. Long Did you just say Italian? Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I get. I don't think I like oh, this place. Friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Um, hmm. I could have liked you, drunk old man. You didn't, you didn't have to say that. That was just uncalled for. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. This one? Oh yeah, here. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows uh -huh. him. <laughs> We'll take you to him, but it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? What kind of name is that? Stay close. Easy to get lost your mother must hate you or your on, father. Man. I don't know what one. Sorry, I have to get rid of that waypoint. It's very annoying. You new to the city, mister? What do you think? Much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, though. Been there, done that. That's Next. Baron Shriver on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Can we now get that book for Jack? That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse. Oh, that's cool. in France. You been to Toulouse, Mister? No. We're Catholics here, Mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh. Bet they don't have nothing to <laughs> find where you come from, Mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little pair of shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, my nose. <laughs> I was just about to make fun of his looks. Um, where are you going, Arthur? Why can't I call my horse? Five pound as well. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose him. What are you doing? Move! 
remember that kid? That other shit went that way. Thanks for the help. Friend. Thank you. Have we just come around in a full circle? You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. You better stop right now. Hey, moron! Bye, mister. <laughs> That dog looks so malnourished. Morning, sir. Can you please open the door for me? So I know, I know he went up here. Just give it up, farm boy. I'm a cowboy. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're one of them. This is your last warning, boy. My careful. Out of my way. Sorry. What is the matter with you? I don't know. Good morning, man. Good morning, sir. Oh, that was so sweet. Hello, madam. There he is. <gasps> You're a little rat. I'm so done with this kid. What's the problem, Fred? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> ah. Come on! Is that Angelo? You new in town, mister? No, I don't think so. Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Gladly. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? They sold all my stuff. If they didn't, I'll be surprised, actually. That was that the beggar. You're not gonna steal the money. Please. Go get yourself some need. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's can nice I to give something instead of just begging? Can I not give him some? I hate more? asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. <sighs> I'd give him more if I could, but it's not allowing me. Yeah. <sighs> I 
like this place. I want to go back. Whoa. I thought that was an alleyway. Never mind. I want to go back to Valentine or Rhodes. Granted, there was that whole business in Rose with the Grays and the Braithways, but still! Where's Dodge? Oh. Hi! Oh. Okay. Where have you been? Getting I'm gonna rob Goose Chase, babes. Bunch of children. <laughs> I what? Jack? When we get him back, gets into that group. Mr. Bronte, I'll be sad. To be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Okay. Have a nice morning. Thank you. That's so nice of you. No, they got one over there. So we met Beth and we have Zilch Vandalin. Oh, the, this place is quite far away. Okay. Sorry. I was literally not far at all. Where is the stranger though? Is he inside? Okay. Hey, Hi. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Excusez-moi. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Why would you make this? <laughs> oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Oh, our beard and hair has grown again. Okay, we will need to go to the barbers. <sighs> it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, mostly I... I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights. And I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. Yeah, that, that is what that you are. Too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. At least he's self-aware. You, know, you know, that's you something. No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. <laughs> Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mm, you can listen too. Okay, cool. Old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh, Arthur. Charles. You know Arthur? Don't we have that. a Charles. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. He's better They're than you. The truth. Art is Don't lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. Mm. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. 
Good meeting you. Mm. What was that encounter? I am incredibly confused. I wanted to read his journal, see if there's anything else in it. Uh, okay. No, there isn't. Great. Maybe if you like, you go to sleep, then he'll write something. I don't know. There's another stranger over here. Sorry. Come on. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? We're closed. I still win. Oh, hi. I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work. <laughs> You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother. A penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some. some Are we flirting right now? <laughs> <laughs> the barber! No that's what idea. I wanted to do. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. Why are you not we looking at see. me? That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hung. Sure. We have enough. Bless you, sir. That better Thank increase my honor, here. though. These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. What the hell? Sorry, I'm sorry. What? Where is the shop? Do I have to go round or something? Search for clues. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a key. Hi. Why can't we stroke it? How comes we can stroke the dogs but not the cat? Look it in. What? Shut up. I'm not doing anything. Are these not clues? I don't know. Buenos dias, señor. Hi. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Morning to you. Morning to you. Running around leaving scars. God, y'all are so annoying here. I don't know where to go. I'm very confused. I'm gonna... Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Did I have to go... I didn't see it.
So am I actually like meant to search or? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe I speak to the shopkeeper. It did say search for clues, but. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? Why do you look like Hosea? Why have you got your head down? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here, don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. I'm sorry, I don't believe him. I don't trust this. I'm really not a bad man. What if he just has like a gun trained on me? Oh, hello? Gadgety, gadgety. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Oh my. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. ¿Quién eres? Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. How can you? That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. I don't understand how. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. No, keep it. No, keep give to the poor. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on, come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Okay. So we did that at least. That's something. Um. I'm not going to say I enjoyed doing that because I most definitely did not. I'm going to go to the barber. I'm going to get his hair cut. Can I get him drunk? Time to go, boy. Like, if I went to the saloon and just kept ordering him drinks, would he become drunk? Because I do want to try it. Hello. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> I really want to try that. Barbershop, though, like not in the -like. not how it was in. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. Valentine, there we go. We got it in the end. Trim. Did I have it as three or four? I think ah, looking sharper than attack. Oh, I kind of hate that. Why did I? Why did I go so short? 
It's fine. It'll grow out. It's fine. It doesn't look too bad. I was like, let's just do it shorter. Mm. No, no, it's fine. It's Please. fine. I'm overreacting. It's fine. Thank you. It's fine. Okay. It's cute that it's like its own barbershop now. Are they all like closed? Saloon. This one's open. I just want to try it. We might not even be able to get into drink, but I do actually kind of just want to try it because I think that's. Uh. One book to truth, Senor. One book to the future. My book. My book about the path to eternal joy. Money. Be rich. Sir, madam, make something of yourselves. I love you and want to make you happy. You know what, sir? I love that. Hello, mister. Your book matches Hello, your jacket. Friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be $50. $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. No. Forget about it. Huh. Well, you're lost, buddy. Oh wait, now I feel bad. I'm Come sorry. Here. Come here and buy my book. My book will change your life. My book will... Welcome, friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. This is another oh, yeah, stranger. Drink over here. So, what did it be? Can I get a whiskey? I just want to see if I can get him really drunk. Like, you know how I did with Lenny that one time? That's what I want to do. Hey, dude. Can I have another? <laughs> I have, uh, whatever you like. Cheers, friend. How many is it gonna take? Is it even gonna work? I don't know. I don't think it's working. Just give me a drink, quick. He sounds a bit more slurry. Yeah, it is a gay some pep. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. Oh, the place used to be sophisticated. The stories I heard would make a I'm sad it's not working. <gasps> oh my god, wait. I think it's working. All I needed was beer. Forget the whiskey. Here's me thinking whiskey would get me drunk a lot quicker. The beer is where it's at. <laughs> Ready? Ready? You know something? No. He's not even getting it in his mouth. <laughs> is he gonna get me to stop? Yeah, it's been a long day. Poor fellow. Fell in love with my mother. What is this woman going on about? They Can she I shut up? Please. <laughs> this is very entertaining for me. I love this. I'm gonna order him one more if I can. I believe I saw men with pistons at the club last night. Another drink! Terrifying. Another drink! <laughs> Cheers, right? God, I am so bloody you know I burnt my new novel? <laughs> Finished it and burnt it. The novel is <laughs> dead. Such <gasps> Oh my god, should I do one more? Should I do one more? And after I tortured those do one more. Pages, even I was one more. The one more. <laughs> Maybe you want to relax her. Tom? Is this Tom? decreasing my health? Where's Tom? I have a feeling this is decreasing my health. Catamite. I'm horrible. Yeah. Can He's I get some food? Oh. <laughs> I'll get some food. Mm -hmm. Fresh lobster bisque. <laughs> I, I should have eaten a proper <laughs> <after that. laughs> Oh my 
stupid. Wait, where's the exit? <laughs> oh my god, gosh. Oh my god, wait, can I ride the horse? Come here and buy my book. My book will change your life. My book will make you who you want to be. Rich. Rich is who you are, and rich is who you oh, shall be. But you have to read the book. This is like one of the, the trip maze mines, like the mirror mazes. Oh, he can't get on the horse. He won't get on the horse. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go to the butcher really quickly then, and I'm gonna get some more meat for camp. I guess it's not camp anymore. It's more so home. Oh, I think it's wearing off. That's so sad. Spend like five pound on that. Like, 30 seconds. Wow. Maybe it's the running. Maybe like the running is wearing it off. I don't know. It was worth it though. I enjoyed that. That was fun. I wanted the, the, the bookstore. Hey, move it. Where is the butcher? Hi. Can to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? That's all for Cam. Oh, here's my horse. Okay. So I'm gonna ride back to Shady Bell. I'm gonna see if there are any chores to do. And I'm gonna donate all the meat that I got for Cam. Um, what in coronation? But yeah, I don't really like the hunting aspect to this game. The open world is nice when I use it, it's just. Hi. Sorry, I. Hello? There you go, friends. You missed her. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. See, I feel bad because I only do it for my honor. <laughs> uh, no, I don't only do it for my honor. Um, that's a huge aspect of it, though. A huge part. In most of the decisions in this game, you know, it is debated wildly on whether it will affect my honor in a good or bad way. So, but we have two missions. We have Dutch's missions, which is going over to the house of Bronte. They have Jack, right? I don't think Jack would be there. I don't think it will be that easy to get Jack, to be honest. And then there's one with Mary Beth back at camp. Um, but I'll probably leave those for next time just because and I did like that mission firstly but I usually like having the end of missions be one episode and then starting a new video for like the new chapter if that makes sense I don't know. but I also just like to spend the video about like the ending of the last chapter when we moved to the new place just looking around getting myself familiar with it um you know exploring all around the towns we've had valentine's town Rhodes town i wonder if we'll ever move to strawberry or are we yeah. near strawberry i can't exactly remember <gasps> Sorry! I am. Managing not to kill Pearson. Only just. <laughs> Only just. I expect nothing less, le uh, less of you, babes. Okay, where can I hitch the horse? Oh, here. Move out the way. Okay. Ooh, I have to adjust to everything again. Oh, there's Dutch. 
Wait, can we not actually like live inside? Oh, I thought we could live inside the house. That's so sad. Hello, Arthur. Miss Abigail, I just want to say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Jack. And I saw some of those Braithwaite fellers. I, no I never got to do the fishing with Kevin. Damn it. Business matter. I know Arthur and Hosea had had dealings with them. Didn't seem serious. And I don't know anybody who would kidnap a boy. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Hi. Kevin, I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. Just try to stay calm. I am calm. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. There you go. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hosea? What's the latest on Jack? Still working on it. What are we doing? Oh, Driscoll. Damn place. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. Okay. So funny, Arthur. So we have some wood to chop. Do we have any more upgrades that we can do, I wonder? Oh gosh, this. I, I know, like, the story's just now starting to pick up, but wow, I did not expect that much that quickly. It's weird, because it's like, there's just one thing going on after the other, after the other, after the other, and it feels like I have kind of no time to process anything, which in a way is good, because then I'm not sad over the fact that, you know, Sean is dead. I'm not gonna do my harsh accent with now. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should just stick to the Texas. Whatever one it is. Like... Just really sad. <laughs> Said he'd do that. Fat <laughs> yeah, he said he did that at the last place and apparently he didn't, so you know. I hope we get another thing with Hello. Kieran. How are you, Mr. Smith? I didn't realise how quickly the ending of the chapter three would be and it feels so weird that we're already on like chapter four. What's that? Hey, Arthur. Fancy sharing it with me? Hi. Always good to see you. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's serving girl, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> of course not, Molly. I feel so bad for her. Do we find out what's happened between them? I'll be really mad if we don't, to be honest. <laughs> Who's crying? He's gonna be okay. Oh, that's Abigail. It'll be okay, I promise. It'll be okay. How's Karen holding up, though? Okay, yeah, we don't have really any other. Okay. 
Um, no, not set. Contribute. Uh, money. We'll give a hundred, I guess. Or we'll oh. give two. This place. Hi. We're gonna find him, Karen. You better. I swear. It's gonna be okay. We'll find him. Well, go find him then. Sorry. Just try to stay calm. This is cool. You have like the little places. Where is my bed? Why? Why can't I see where my bed is? Okay, so I actually completely forgot to do the outro, so I'm doing it now. That was a very, very fun episode. Well, no, I take that back. Well, it was fun to play. It was not fun for the events of which that took place. I actually really loved the last mission of chapter three though, which was going to the Braithwaite house, setting it on fire. Has to be one of my favorites. I really thought we were gonna do more with Penelope and Bo, but I guess that's kind of gone now. We're in a new place. I'm not gonna try and pronounce the name because I've actually forgotten the pronunciation of it again, even though they've already said it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, bye.